Welcome to the first day of our daily fraction. Let's go ahead and fill it in. So if you did the daily fraction with me last year as a fourth grader, as a fifth grader, it's going to be just a little bit different. We're going to work on different skills this time. All right. What is staying the same, though, is writing our beginning fraction. Our denominator is the total amount of school days, which is still 180. Our numerator is the day we're on. We're on day one. Okay, so now we're looking at one. Is it prime or composite? So you, if you still have your prime number sieve, you can look on that, or if you can remember, Prime means it has exactly two factors. Composite means it has more than one. I'm sorry, more than two factors. One has exactly one factor. So it's not prime and it's not composite. It's our only counting number that is neither. So we actually can't do the prime factorization because there's no prime numbers in one. It's a special very special number. But that means our greatest common factor is 1. And if you remember, that means we have to make groups of 1 and done. How many total groups of 1 do we have? We have a total of 180. How many groups of 1 are shaded in? 1. And if we divide by 1, our numerator divided by 1 stays the same. 180 divided by 1 is 180. This time, instead of doing partial quotients, we're going to use the area model. So we're going to divide 180 by 1. Well, let's see, I could do 1 times 100, subtract that, that leaves 80. So that goes up here. And then I could do 80 times 1, which is 80. Numbers the same, zero is the game, nothing left. 100 plus 80 is 180 with no remainder. So this is our quotient. Okay. And 1 divided by 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And we get a remainder of 0. Okay, so we still check the same way though. It's our divisor times our quotient plus our remainder. Since our remainder is 0 and the identity property of addition says when you add 0 it stays the same, we don't need to worry about that. But we are going to check our answer. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. That matches. What we just did is the identity property of mul multiplication, which says when you multiply by 1, it stays the same. But we did check. That is definitely our fraction for today. So now let's get it written down in our data collection and on our number line. So this is our data collection page. Um, you have a place to put your heading. It's always important to put your heading on in case this gets out of your folder. Um, it can get returned to you, so always make sure you put your number and your name. And then every day we fill this in to keep track of our fraction for the day. So we are in trimester one, and we are in week one. This represents Monday through Friday. We did not have school on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. The only time we X out any boxes is when you're missing a day or two or three within a week. We do not cross out a whole week. So this during this whole year, we will not be crossing out more than um, a few days. We will not cross out a whole week. So today, we're starting, it is 8, 8, 19 is our date. 
and our fraction for today is 1 out of 180. Okay, and then next what we do is we get out our number line. So this is your number line or set of number lines. And the top row has all the numbers representing our 180 days. 1 out of 180 all the way to the very last one, which is 180 out of 180. So this it represents our group of 1 days. They're already in there because they're so small it's hard to write. So here's today's 1 out of 180. That is our fraction for today. You don't have to fill it in. The only ones you don't have to fill in are when we do groups of one. The rest you will. So let's go ahead and put your number line away. Erase your worksheet. And thank you for joining me.